Hello, I'm Jeff from Sydney Eco Tuning, and today we're having another episode of What's in the Box. So, without further ado, we have a Pico 4425A Advanced Kit. So, let's open her up and let's have a look. So, I'll make sure you're still in shot there. I'll try and keep this as uh, straightforward as possible. Um, so, start at the business end. We have our main unit, um, this is a 4425A, so this is a smart BNC. So this will still take your older um, older tools, if you, uh, your first look sensors and, and things like that. Uh, we have got uh, our USB, a ground and a, a DC input. Um, we've also got a little nylon tab there. So in the box, which I'm just undoing with one hand here, we've also got a couple of nice uh, little hangers. So if we want to uh, dangle them from the bonnet or from a boom, uh, we can do that and keep our tool nice and safe. So moving here, we've got our red and black connectors, crocodile clips of various sizes, various back pro pins and four mil bananas. Here we have our um, low amp clamp or a 60 amp clamp. So you'll notice there's no zero button, there's no batteries. It is all powered by the Pico unit. Here is our 2000 amp clamp. So you would use this for your relative compression tests, your, your uh, battery tests, starter uh, alternator tests. Um, this one will be more for for your fuel pumps and parasitic drains and things like that. And lastly on this side is a real nice set of back probing pins uh, and spare uh, tips as well. So if I move this further over. Safety sheets, um, safety guides. So you'll see it's probably always worth having a look at these. I'm just making sure you don't do anything stupid. Let's get into the um, sexy end, shall we? So, uh, secondary coil wand or secondary coil paddle. Yet again, smart BNC, uh, fitted with a ground as well. Here we have four uh, secondary jumper leads, I think I would call them. And I'll keep those there for a second. And we've got also four secondary pickups so these pickups would simply connect to your jumper lead and you've got another way to uh, check secondary injection uh, secondary ignition sorry um, sometimes on Volkswagens it's really hard to get this the the paddle it can sometimes be difficult I think it can depend on the coil the, the coil manufacturer if it's giving you uh, mischief use the use um, an, one of these adapters here um, also for other coil testing sometimes you may need to ground the coil that comes in the kit as well which is really handy we have some fuse buddies or fuse jumpers if you want to call them that so these will let's pick this one here so this is our like a standard fuse Pull the fuse out of the fuse box, sit this in the in, in place of that fuse, pop your fuse in there so it's still protected, and we've got voltage and current to test, and we have that in four different shapes. So you can test fuses and fuse uh, um, current until heart's content. Two USB leads. Now, why have we got two USB leads? So this is USB 3. And this one is USB 2. Um, USB 3 is shorter to, to make sure it doesn't lose any signal. I'm sure there's some ner nerdier way of explaining this. Um, but, but that's the maximum length P Pico recommend for, uh, for these certain tests. Now, this could be for if, if you're doing flex ray testing and things like that, where you need to test it into, to the nth degree. 
Um, whereas if you're just doing regular testing, what would they call regular testing? Cam and crank correlation, your, your normal, your normal sort of Pico tests, you can use your longer USB too. Um, really good of Pico to include them both. Um, I use I use the USB too, but I do know that it's nice and nice to have the three if we ever need it. We have got a thermal probe, um, so you can uh, you can you can check the uh, the heat of anything you you like to check really. This is a parking sensor tester. Um, this so this is non smart. Uh, this is you know a standard BNC. So you just hit to you your uh, drop down menu. Uh, find the picture of, of what it looks like and, and click the button and start testing. Uh, we have a resistance lead as well, so we can use our scope as a uh, to, to uh, carry out resistance measurements um, or a four mil male uh, connectors, so it will fit with the um, adapters that we looked at earlier. Here we go, we have two attenuated leads now um, as i said before the this the tool or the main 4425a tool will take up to 200 volts any more than that you, you're going you're gonna to need to use an attenuator or an attenuated lead so pico have moved over to, to an attenuated lead um, because they will use this for flex ray also um, these, if you're testing common rail diesel injectors, uh, GDI injectors, anything higher, higher or potentially higher than 200 volts, use an attenuated lead. So these are 10 to 1 attenuators. Also included in the advanced kit is a couple of very common breakout uh, breakout uh, leads. So uh, that looks like a, like a for like a Bosch injector. So you could literally. Uh, loop this into that circuit and you can um, you can carry out all your testings without without having to back probe uh, and there's another very common one there I can't remember what it is off the top of my head but um, uh, it's a TA190 and a TA012 these are going to be the really common leads that you use so you can and crank correlations your your battery tests um, these are what we call the times one leads um, all really good quality yes all smart BNC um, really really nice these, these you will use these a lot and last but not least the breakout lead set now this is one of my favorite breakout lead sets everything's numbered you know if something's missing, um, look at that, it's just a thing of beauty. So yet again, instead of uh, poking through weather shields and things like that, we can, we can loop it, so we can just bypass it, put it in place, take our voltage measurement. And the really cool thing about it, if we all slot back together, we know where everything is, and it can go back straight back in the, uh, in the packaging. So packaging's really good quality, there's a few more leads in there as well. Um, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Anyway, I've bored you long enough. If there's any questions, uh, don't hesitate to post a comment or or uh, drop me a message. Um, but yeah, everybody should have a Pico in their life. So thank you very much, everybody. Ciao for now.